Hey friends, this is Matt from Cornelius Creations, and in this short video, I am going to answer a question I always get. Matt, what kind of birds do I need to start power carving with? There are so many, and I understand it can be overwhelming. Well, today, I'm not going too far in depth, but I'm going to show you something that's really going to help you. Let's get started. Okay, the birds I recommend starting with are these round carbide birds. And you can see right here, I have very many. They all serve a different function though. So here's what I'm saying to you guys. Start with one, because you can make number one, your initial cut, and number two, remove the background stock from the image. Like it's an all-in-one burr. Even though I can take one like this right here, and it serves a different function, we're just gonna stick with this right now so we have a foundational place to learn from. Now let me show you something right here. I'm gonna draw just a simple triangle. I'm gonna show you how simple this is. This isn't gonna to be too in depth. Of course, my triangle is gonna be a little off. So we'll just thicken up the lines there. Always do that, thicken up all your lines before you carve. That way you always have a safeguard in place when you begin. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna take this right here. Okay, there we go. Now you can see this right here. This is just a simple little carving. You see how I just went around there? Look how simple that was. This was done with this round burr right here. Now what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna take more stock off and this is gonna be in a later tutorial. This time we're gonna go to the right because it smooths everything out. So watch this. Okay guys, you see how simple this was? This is just a simple 2D image. I cut out the initial carving and I went the other way and just kind of routed out around there and made some space. And let me show you something. This right here, which I'm not done with, this pink one right here, a more majority of this was done with a round carbide burr like this right here. See? This as well. And these are pieces I'm nowhere near finished with but all these were done initially with a round burr like this and of course there is some smaller ones when you get in the smaller detail areas you see the beak right here i'm going to take a small piece right here get around there then take a smaller piece and go right in between there just like that so you can do a lot with these round burrs you don't have to have all these fancy burrs and stuff like this or this to get there now these do serve a different function but for starting out, this is what you need right here because you're gonna learn so much from it. I need to tell you one more thing. I'm not saying you can't use another type of burr. I'm simply saying that using a round carbide burr and starting with it will cause you to learn so much more than if you were to take all these burrs and try to learn them at once. Because what's gonna happen is that you're gonna use this and then you're gonna move on to another shape and be like, oh my gosh, this is so much easier to do it this way, and everything is gonna to begin to start making sense. You can't go to Algebra 2 without having Algebra 1, right? So it's kinda of like that. Just kinda of keep that as a foundational basis for you, and start with the round carbide burrs, because I promise it's gonna help you so much more in the long run. If you guys haven't subscribed, feel free to do so. I am coming out with a ton more tutorials like this and some big news coming soon, so stay tuned. And if you like this video, click a like. And if dislike, go ahead and click the dislike. And feel free to share it with your friends and family.